Hey, Rushy here. Welcome to Yes, Your Grace. Whoa. I wasn't expecting lyrics. Okay. Uh, yeah, welcome. I am deciding to play this game. I, do, I don't know what else to tell you. This game is a kingdom management game, I guess. So we've got to deal with like petitioners, asking for advice, decide whether we want to help them or not, or blah, 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 blah. Uh, I've been wanting to play it for a while, so I guess now's the time. I hope the sound is all right, actually, because that's very loud. Maybe I could check that. Oh, yes, your grace is a game of tough choices. It will be impossible to satisfy the needs of every petitioner. Something your subjects will have spite. Sometimes your subjects will have spiteful intentions. And sometimes life will get in the way. If you simply have enough resources at the end of each week, that's good enough. Okay, let's jump right in. Yes, your grace. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm slightly worried. Oh, is this me? Click on the petitioner to call them forward. Hello, Audrey. Yes. It is time, Your Grace. I'm stepping down! This ain't me! Wait, is me? Explore the rooms to find items of interest. I hear slight screaming. You can find your inventory in the lower left corner. Select an item. Crown of the King of Davin. It's getting a bit rusty. Wear it. Wear my rusty ass crown, hell yeah. You can leave any room by walking to the edge of the screen or by selecting the doors. Oh, wow. Whoa. This is me, throne room. I guess I go to the castle wall. It's the only other place I can go. Your Grace. Hi. A deserter? Found one of ours hiding in a shed. Shed, why would you do this, Sobic? There's too many of them. We have no chance of winning. If you let him off, the rest may follow. However, our army is sparse as it is. We need every set of hands able to hold a sword, Your Grace. Oh, even the least brave soldiers are essential or there's no place. Anyone who refuses to stand for Davin will be met with justice. Davin, I guess. Oh! I don't know why I just gasped. I knew what I was doing. A shame, you did what you had to, Your Grace. Over here, Your Grace. Okay, come in, General. I'm being armied upon. <laughs> Shit. Sons of Davern! We stood together through the worst of times. We have proved our strength in many battles, and today we will prove it again. My bravest men, I bid you to fight for all you hold dear, for Davern. Is this the same people that make not tonight? Because ah! <laughs> it's very similar. Yes, your grace. One year earlier. Ah. Oh. Ooh. Three, two, one. Okay, here I come. You found me. Well done, father. Oh, come on now, Lusulia. It's not often that we can do this. It's not often. I told you, I don't want to play. Aren't you too old for this? Lusulia, that's no way to speak to your father. Lusulia is a stick in the mud. Shut it, Asalia. We can see you from miles away. Yeah, Lusulia, you are a stick in the mud. Oh, you know I'm not playing with you, darling. The sun finally came out. Let me enjoy it. Ah. Got you. Shouldn't have insulted your sister from across the gardens. She always has to ruin everything. She's so proud she couldn't even find a place to hide. I wasn't even trying to hide. I don't want to play. Next time you don't want to play, maybe try writing a formal announcement. Oh wait, you can't write. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Of course I can, you nitwit. Cut it out, both of you. Oh, bye, Lasulia. Do I have other children? Oh! It's so done. And here's the little one. No! I was doing so well! You must have cheated. You were standing in the middle of the pathway. Or peaked. I demand another trial of, of the game. How official. Maybe next time, Sadani. Oh, 
Hello. Forgive me, Your Grace. I hate to interrupt, but your subjects will soon arrive. All right, enough games. The throne awaits. The throne always awaits. Grevno, week one. Okay. The petitioners will start queuing in a moment, Your Grace. We really need to shorten the visiting hours. Whoa. Okay. So, this is my gold. This is my food. This is my army. I don't know what this is. This is my pigeon. <laughs> oh, my wife. Can you go and speak to Lasulia, my dear? I've tried talking to her, but she just won't respond. I don't know what's got into her recently. Maybe she will open up a bit more to you. She's probably wondering about at the wall. Of course, my sweetest. Love you. Hello, dungeon guard. Your grace, I bring bad news. The recent rains have soaked through our roofs. The pantry roof has collapsed as well as some walls of our dungeon. Only one cell is currently functional. We should really fix those things before they get worse. Otherwise, we'll keep losing supplies. You will see the required fixes in your weekly summary at the end of the week. When you meet people and talk to petitioners, your advisor makes a note about the encounter in your archives. You can see all the entries by clicking the archives button below. Oh, flood damages. Family. Oh, my name's Eric. Okay. Hey, I'm Eric. What up? So I have three kids. I have Lasulia, I have Asalia, and I have Sadani. And I have my wife. Cool. All right, hello, peasant. That sounds... Your grace, my daughter's wedding is at hand. Congratulations. The problem is, we don't have enough gold or supplies to make a worthy feast. What will my daughter-in-laws... What will my daughters-in-laws think of our family? We want to hire a band, buy some of that fancy wine on the market. We would only need five gold and five supplies. I can't give you... You have my blessing, but I won't help. The kingdom has more important matters at hand. Wish your daughter the best from me. You skimp us a little gold? Shouldn't the king support his people in the hard times? Pff, I, can f I can't feed my guests with the king's blessing. Yeah, but you should be able to deal with your own... Peasant. Your Grace, I come here representing my village. We want to ask you for seven gold to help us gather tools and resources required to build an inn. We could really use a new place to rest after a long day of work. Um, I think that's actually probably worthy. Make it the best inn around. Oh, so is that my people's happiness? Oh, we surely will. Thank you, Your Grace. New entry. Cool. We got a new inn. Hello, peasant. Monsters. Beasts dressed in black. They came in the night. Unseen, unheard until they arrived. They attacked the village. We heard the dreadful screams of the slain. Your grace, I beg you, you must send your men. Check what happened. Find those responsible. My agent will check the village. The general should deal with these bandits easily. Thank you, your grace. I sent the general. I didn't mean to. Click on the glowing flower to advance to the next week once you're ready. Sometimes you'll need to see your family members. Glowing flower? Oh. Okay, yeah, no, I want to go... I want to go see my fams. Can I go this way? What's this way? That's the gardens. That's the castle wall. She said my wife was at the... My wife. My daughter was at the wall, right? Let's go find my oldest child. There you are. Hello, sweetheart. Oh, it's you. You need to stop fighting with your sister. Do you want to talk about what happened in the gardens? No. I'm fine, father. Why didn't you want to play with us? I can see something's wrong. Why won't you talk to me? Everything's fine. Don't you have things to do? I don't know where your sister learned to be so rude. Mm-hmm. Why didn't you want to play with us? You used to find the best spots, remember? Maybe I'm not five anymore? I'll leave you to it. Sure. Teenagers, am I right? <laughs> Got the best response. Maybe I'm not five anymore. <laughs> I have a nice castle. Uh, kingdom. Let's go to the dungeon. Isn't this where they... Oh, yeah, this is the flood. Damn it, this is worse than I thought. The recent downpours have damaged a lot of buildings, Your Grace. 
While we still have space for prisoners, we should focus on buildings that need more attention. I've had a scribe write a list of things that need to be fixed. You will see this in your weekly summary, Your Grace. This sounds like it's going to be costly. Yes. Shite. These barrels are empty. They used to store our wine. So we're not doing very well financially, if it's what I'm learning. Ah, oh, hello, Asalia. Yes, father? What is the matter with you two? You and Lasulia used to be best friends. You mean, why is Lasulia such a big baby? This is the kind of thing I mean. She's annoying is all. How can both of you be so stubborn? You're not gonna let her off, are you? Not until she stops being such a pain. If she wasn't so annoying, I wouldn't have to insult her. And so we come full circle. Great. Super glad we worked that out. No, I don't have to stay safe. I don't want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> Is there anywhere else I can go? I guess back to my throne room. Hey, guy, can I talk to you? Uh, oh, okay. Uh, never mind, it's fine. Let's just, that's, that's all for now. Stop talking to me, advisor. Week two. <laughs> okay, so this is my summary. Here you'll be able to see your kingdom's weekly income and expenses. You can buy upgrades and fixes for the castle in the left section. Uh, to buy an upgrade, simply click the button with the upgrade name and you will see the cost added to the summary. Okay, so we're losing food. Stan. The tears don't call, I'm wondering why. Um, okay, we're losing food because of the pantry. Um, we're losing grain also because of the... Oh, no, it'll cost 15 grain to fix the market stall. Those are my current resources. Um... I kind of want to fix the pantry and that might screw us, but we'll, we'll do it. Grevno, week two. Why, hello there. Oh, that's my daughter. Hello, General. Your Grace, no sign of the monsters. We did stumble upon the, these bandits, though. They were pillaging the village. Red-haired, sharp teeth. A crest of Rodovia. I thought you could only find them in books and old manuscripts. Well, it seems like we have one right here, too. Tell me, whose banner are you bearing? Is it true that you're from Rodovia? Your man is right. Rodovia is my home, and soon yours too. Ha! What were you and your men doing near the village? We're just making a living. One might, one man might call it plunder. I would call it hard work. Do you have a king? Or are you just a barbaric thief? Barbaric thief? Barbaric? We are a free people. We don't batter kings or lords. Bold words for someone trespassing in another country. Bold and stupid. Your Grace, we can't allow barbarians to stalk our lands, plundering and killing innocent men. There is no question that justice needs to be dealt to this one. I don't want to execute him. Throw him in the dungeon! Don't want to let me go, but you don't have the guts to kill? My friends will gladly hear about your cowardly decisions. I need to see Aurelia about this. Oh, I do. My wife, please let me know what to do. Hello, daughter. I bring news, father. Azalia sneaked out at night last week. I ran into her while she was going back to her chamber, all laughing and a little tipsy, I think. She wouldn't say where she'd been, but Sadani, as thick as she is, spilled everything to me in the morning. Those two chit-chat all the time. They think I don't realize. Thick, don't speak ill of your sister. What's got into you, Lasulia? Asalia sneaks out to some wedding, gets all drunk, but I'm the bad one all of a sudden. Audrey, did you know about any of this? No, Your Grace. I better talk to Asalia about this. You guys are going to drive me mad one day. Why are you snitching? What do you make of this, Audrey? Rodovians here? How would they get through the mountains? Why would they threaten a war? That's a lot of questions, but I need answers, Audrey. Forgive me, Your Grace, I'm just puzzled. It might be reasonable to start thinking about renewing some old treaties. Talk to old friends, see who could give us a hand. With our current resources, a war would bring certain defeat. I will make some preparations. Thanks, Audrey. I don't want to go to war yet. That seems like it's later in the game. Your Grace, my dear son is nowhere to be found. 
Yes, a really daft little boy, but still, he is my son. I asked you to help us find him. Your Grace, is there a chance you could do so? Uh, two weeks. Two weeks of my general looking for a boy? Ah, oh, fuck it. He will ask around and see if he can track your son down. I hope he is still in one piece. You have my thanks, Your Grace. Thank you. I hope I didn't just mess up royally. Lord Etten. My name is Etten. I'm the Lord of Branca, Your Grace. I will be as straightforward as possible. Someone has kidnapped my daughter and they expect me to pay 12 gold to get her back. The thing is, I tracked them down and I know where they are keeping her. I've planned everything out. I just need your general to help me take her back. <laughs> or I could just pay the ransom. Either way, I will need your help, Your Grace. Uh, I don't have the shit. I don't have my general. Ah, uh, oh. I'll give you our general. There's not enough generals. I'm sorry, I don't have the gold. I need to save some gold. Ooh, I should have saved it for Lord Etten. Sorry, I can't help. My general is occupied and my low gold is running low. I wish you the best of luck getting your daughter back. And I wish you never find yourself in a similar situation. Keep your daughter safe, your grace. I will remember this. I'm sorry! That seemed like a threat. But, your grace, I fear for my life. I think someone is trying to get me. What's going on? I think, I think someone is following me. They want me dead. Who's they? I don't know. How would I know? I haven't done anything, right? I better be going. Who? What? Okay, so... Yeah, I wanted to help the thingy, and then there's that lord who's paranoid, and then the ransom. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to not help you. I just didn't have a thingy. I remember I got to click on the uh, throne to get up. I didn't have a general. Oh, okay. I didn't think a king would come down to the dungeons. An honor, truly. Tell me what you know. Why are you here? I suppose that's one way of killing time in this murky den. You see, Bayran, that lunatic, thinks everyone will follow him. He keeps raving about some promise. One of the seven kings will give him his daughter. He thinks he's got a chance at mingling with the royals. I still can't decide. Is he the mad one or is it his followers who believe this bunk? Who are really insane. Okay. You will stay here for a while longer. Maybe you'll be useful. Don't you worry about me. I'll play with my friend here. Um, your grace? <laughs> By all the gods, that could have been me. Your grace, do you see what happened here? It was, if I was in the other cell, I would have been crushed. This, this is a sign. The gods have forgiven my sins. I shall serve the mighty ones. I will dedicate my life to those in need. I mean, if I could get out of here, please? Why are you here again? Oh, um, uh, I bumped into the innkeeper on the street and stepped on his toe. How dare you tell such falsehoods. He ordered a gallon of beer, drank it all by himself, and didn't even have the gold to pay for it. I know the innkeeper was pretty upset. Oh, yes, I think I remember. Your Grace, I have been enlightened. I won't ever do such a stupid thing again. I will serve a higher purpose now. Just maybe let me out? You've had enough. I hope you learned your lesson. You may leave. What, really? The gods have truly chosen me. I will go and spread their wisdom. Thank you, Your Grace. Our paths will cross again. I can feel it. I also don't want to leave you in there to be played with. Um, that doesn't sound fun. Just looking around. Thanks. Uh, gardens. Let's go see my daughter. Crack in the pavement. We need to get it patched up one day. Asalia, why are you going and drinking at a wedding? I've heard there was a quite a fine wedding in the village just outside our walls, one that I didn't pay for. It wasn't bad, but I've heard it could have been even better if my father was a bit less stingy. Oh, you. Your sister came to me this morning. Ugh, what a turd. I shouldn't have said that. Why would she blab about it like that? I've just encouraged them to hate each other. How would she know anyway? Oh, of course, Sidani. Sidani. I'm worried about you. I wouldn't forgive myself if something happened to you. You have no need to worry. Nothing will happen. Do you know what's out there? What could, what could have happened if someone found a princess by herself in a village? All the drunkards, thugs. Nothing happened, father. I was dressed differently. I was careful. I'm not stupid. 
I didn't... I know what I'm doing. All I wanted was a little fun. Lasulia said you got drunk. That's a lie. I know what I'm doing. I can take care of myself. How many times? Ugh, Lasulia. Since she turned 13, she thinks she will make her marry some fat dumb prince and send her off to another castle. If she intends to be such a lousy rat, maybe it would be for the best. Is that why she's been acting up lately? I suppose so. It doesn't change the fact that she's just infuriating. And it doesn't change the fact that you didn't stop with the name calling. You are confined to the castle. Mm. You will not be visiting the market. What am I supposed to do inside these godforsaken walls? Stupid Lasulia, I'll teach her a lesson. Uh-oh. Stop with the names. I'd better talk to Lasulia. Yeah. And warn her that I've put um, my other daughter on a warpath. <laughs> Lasulia, I'm sorry. I don't know how to parent. Why are you just up on the wall? Also, is that your cat Dusty? Who's Dusty? I want to say hi, Dusty. <gasps> I pet the cutie. You know what? Game. Best game ever. Worth. Asali told me why you might be feeling a bit down recently. Oh, and why is that? Tradition says a girl your age needs a husband, but I promise you won't have to marry a stranger. We will make sure we know the prince well before the wedding. Mm-hmm. Time will show. Okay. Sorry, darling. I guess I am forcing you to marry a person. Uh... So yeah, she's upset. And Asali's sneaking out. Ah, what what else am I gonna do? Let's go chat with my wife. <laughs> Maybe my wife can um deal with the kids better than I can. Hello, wife. You've got a nice room, darling. Rodovians have come to Devern. One of their bandits was brought to the castle. Rodovians? That can't be right. Do you think it's about your our promise? I I'm afraid it is. The bandit is in the dungeon. I already questioned him. It cannot be, Eric. Well, he said so himself. How would he know? Thirteen years ago, we promised our unborn child's hand to a thug. <gasps> Bayran, wasn't it? Does it matter? After thirteen years, a Rodovian shows up in our castle. I'll be damned. Yes, Lasulia will soon become a woman and we will need to find her a husband. And Bayran, the villain, will arrive to make me fulfill my promise. Do you remember the curse? I don't even want to think about this. Let's just hope the curse is nothing but a hoax and see how things with the thug turn out. There's a curse? How could we have promised our daughter's hand to a Rodovian? With a knife to my throat, I'm not sure what else we could have done. To think our daughter will marry some barbaric thug, though. We can't let this happen, Eric. Don't worry, we will solve this. What are we going to do? If Bayran ever shows up to claim our daughter's hand, hopefully no one will believe him. We just need to play stupid. Unless he shows up with an army. Don't be silly now. How could a commoner afford an army? Even we can't. How could Rodovians get to Devern? Anything seems possible at this stage. You did send the bandit to the dungeons. I already told you I did earlier. Oh, yes, yes. I'm sorry, darling. It's just too much to think about. How are you holding up? I don't know. It's so unreal. Marry a prince, a lord even? Yes, but let her marry a thug? We can't do this. It will be fine. I won't let them take her away. Okay. She's terrified. Oh, I can handle this. Fine, I will stay here. My... Well, yeah, I guess... There's a reason now why we should be concerned about her having to marry. That's not good. Okay. Um, we got 14 gold. We really, really don't have much in the way of... Uh, we get gain two gold per week if we do this. Mm, okay. We'll do that. I hope it doesn't hinder us in future, but... Grevno week three. Oh. A pigeon came in like a wrecking ball, hey. Dear Eric, we have crossed the mountains. We will come for what was promised, for the gods have graced us with their strength. Bayran, the king of Rodovia. So they do have a king after all. And where there's a king, an army follows. What promise are they babbling about anyway? 
Hmm, whatever their imaginings are, they will probably come looking for them. The problem is, our treasury has seen better times. Seeking allies might be our best bet. I will let you get on with the audits, and I'll make some preparations in the meantime. I will be in the council chamber, Your Grace. Thank you, Audrey. Shit. Well, Rodovia is seeking my daughter. Hello, peasant. Your Grace, injustice and hunger have struck our village. Man dressed in black came and took our stock. Hardly anything left worth giving to the dogs now. I wanted to kindly ask for seven pieces of gold. Or five sacks of supplies, Your Grace. That way we can at least keep our children fed. I can give you some supplies. Feed your children well. That will be enough to keep us going for a couple of weeks. Gods favor you. Oh. Glad we could help. Hello, merchant. Ooh. I come with a business proposition, Your Grace. I need 12 gold to hire men and buy resources to build a new tavern in Branca. You see, the tavern will serve as more than just a way for locals to get drunk. The village is really well positioned. It has many visitors, but they never stay for long. A new tavern will change that and will guarantee steady income. I will share the profits once I start making money on the business. Hmm. Come back another time. I like the sound of this, but our treasury cannot afford the expense right now. Come back in a couple of weeks. Yes, Your Grace. Hey, he said the thing! <laughs> your Grace, a disease is crawling in our village. It's nothing serious, I don't think, but fevers and sneezes are all over the place. It appeared out of nowhere, as if a dark force brought it upon us. Uh, oh, shit. If it's... Um, I can't offer much, but here it is. I hope this will be enough for you and your neighbours. Thank you, this is more than we expected anyway. You have a good heart, Your Grace. Well, a good heart, but shh, Aurelia convinced me to have some plants here. Makes the place seem more friendly. Yeah, I have a good heart, but I'm not sure if it's a good way to run a kingdom. Uh, okay. Ooh, Sadani, my youngest child. Hey there. I want to call you silly pickle pumpkin. That's new. I like it. Your grace. Sadani, I always tell you not to play here. But this is my most cherished place in the cast, Fortress. Oh, you must- you have the most finest items here, father. There's so many bear rugs. Please let me stay here. I won't break anything, I promise. Fine. As long as you don't damage anything. Oh yes, thank you for- your grace. Woo, let's see what else is here. <laughs> Might have been a mistake. Audrey! Your Grace, I appointed a scout. He will let us know what we're up against. Meanwhile, we should invite King Talos. He might be able to help. Uh, click on your allies tab. We can't... We can talk to the nearby lords, but first I would suggest inviting Talos. Here you can, um, here you can view details of each of your potential allies. You need to have a pigeon available in order to send an invite. Okay. Great. Talos should visit us within the week. With his army, we should be able to repel Rodovia. No matter what they come with. Thank you, Audrey. Yeah, but we have to convince the king oh, yeah. to let us use his army. Ugh. Well, we got some money. We're gonna just leave it for that week. And see how it goes. The king's here, hello. Oh, my general's back. Your grace, I have found the son of the peasant. He was lost in a nearby forest looking for a home. Oh, looking for home. He was weakened and thirsty, but should be back to full strength soon enough. Thank you. Yay, we found it. We found the sun. Cool. Hi, King Talos. Hardly any light can get through these windows. These holes used to shine, Eric. Father! Look what she did. Asali has put feces under my pillow. How can I ever wash it off? Why did you tell her I told on her? Go back to your chamber now. There's always people in here. We'll deal with that later. Scuttle off for now. But, ugh. If you can't even control your children, then I'm surprised you still sit where you do. Great. And that I'm still standing where I am. Forgive me. We have had a lot going on recently. I'm asking if you're going to make me stand like a commoner here. Oh, of course. Let's talk in the council room. I don't think this is going very well. Huh. You have a lot of books. What is she doing in here? Are you letting children play with your archives? Girl, be gone. 
Are you a king or a blasted nanny, Eric? What can be so important that you couldn't just send me a pigeon? I've made all the wrong choices already. I will be straightforward with this. I need an army. Rodovia has threatened me and my family. Huh, Rodovia? Here? Yes, they... They're simple men. Untrained. Tell you what. I will give you 3,000 soldiers. My army can deal with anything they throw its way. What? Just like that? <laughs> eh, of course not, you see. My son Ivo has been crying and moaning to me about finding him a princess. He's always bothering me. It's about time he grew up. A wife would keep him busy, out of my way. Lasulia would be good enough for him. She could teach him a thing or two. I also want access to the fine collection of books you have here. Plus anything else you can find. You still seek cures for your wife. Her condition hasn't improved? Well, that does not concern you. You get an army, I get Lasulia and access to these books. So an army for a marriage in return. Yes, of course. You catch on quickly. I'll send my armies right away. But we'll do it on my terms. Ooh. I can't just let you take my daughter for a few hundred men. Come on now, Eric. We both know Devon has seen better times. When Rodovia comes, who will protect your people? Your family? Are you gonna fight are you gonna order peasants to fight them with pitchforks? You'll throw in twenty two extra gold. I want three thousand extra men or you'll provide a general. General. You'll provide a general. To help with our people's needs. How about I just pay for one of yours? That's fine. I will send an army straight away, but I want immediate access to the archives. The marriage can be organized later. Let me get lost in your books, then I think I will start from this room. Fine, you can find me in the throne room if you need me. Let's see, what do we have here? Great, you've made a new ally. You can now try to make more allies by inviting other lords in the allies panel. I have an ally! I don't know if I like him very much. Ivo is the son of Talus, the royal prince of Atana. He's the future husband of Eric's daughter, Lusulea. Yes. Okay. Shit. Now I have to go tell Lusulia after she just found shit in her, like under her pillow that I've now married her off. Wife! Aurelia, help me. Darling. Lasulia's getting married. What? No. Did Bayron find us? We can't let him. Lasulia will marry Ivo, the prince of Atana. I made a treaty with Talus. Marriage for army in return. No, we cannot let her marry a barbarian, Eric. You said you would find a way. Wait, Ivo? That's... that's good. That's great. Ivo is a prince, after all, and Lusulia is married to Ivo. Then Bayron can't do anything. Talus's army might simply scare them away. Oh, this is fantastic news, Eric. Wonderful. Who's going to prepare the wedding? Guests? Menus? We need to decorate the throne room. We need to buy flowers and decorations. Oh, and we need a band, too. I'll take care of that. We'll see how a treasury looks at the end of the week. Does the Sulia know yet? No, I came straight to you. I see. She's been acting up lately. Maybe it's better if I tell her. Actually, no. You talk to her. I will get on with the preparations. Oh, okay. <laughs> she's just... She's just going crazy with wedding planning now. Okay. I like how she was like, I'll tell her. And I was like, oh, thank God. And no. Of course, I have to go tell her. I need to talk to my other daughter. Oh, Asali is not here. But Sadani is. Your grace. You're a king, so why do you listen to the man in the council chamber, father? Well, he's a king too, you know. But you're a better king. He should listen to you. Yes, yes. Keep your voice down, pumpkin. She's very nice. I hope Asali, like my other daughter's not up here about to throw her off the freaking wall. Lasulia, I'm so sorry I've married you off. My bad. We have no choice. You must marry Ivo, the Prince of Atana. It's... I'm sorry. What do you mean? Don't I get a say in this? We need this marriage to secure an army that will defend us. A war is coming. So I'm going to be sacrificed. Did you even consider any other options? Did you even try to offer something other than your daughter? Well... I knew it. I knew the day I'm old enough you would just sell me to the highest bidder. You've been waiting for this. You can't wait to get rid of me, can you? I wish I was a common girl living in a village, having nothing to worry about, being able to marry the one I love, not some snob I've never met. Stupid wedding, stupid prince. You're stupid. It does suck. I hate it, but like, I need... I really hope that when the army comes, it's not just like him on a horse and that I didn't just make my daughter go get married for no reason later that night 
It had better be something important at this gun godly hour. Gun godly. Your Grace, Rodovian forces have been spotted nearby. We should send our men to track them down. They've come for Lasulia. Eric, we must do something. Let's send Stan. Oh, Stan's my general. <laughs> we need to see what they are up to. Dude, Stan's fucking sick. Alright, um... Okay, uh, we need to... Buy fabrics and hire a band. Oh, and buy flowers. Fuck it. Let's go all out. Oh, time until the wedding. I have four weeks. I'm all right. We don't need to do that yet. We'll just get the fabrics for now. <laughs> I'm like, let's just get it all now. We really don't need to. Okay. Hello. Oh, it's Danny. Hello, General. What have you learned? Rodovians have formed stationary posts around our castle, Your Grace. Um, camps, if you like. They're planning their next moves. Destroying the post should damage their ability to form strategies, Your Grace. Although we now have a prospect of an army, we shouldn't give them any advantage. You should take a look at the map, Your Grace. Send an agent to clear out these posts as soon as possible. Wait on my mark, General. I will instruct you where to strike. Yes, Your Grace. So, Rodovian bandits have made camps around your castle. You need to send General to eliminate the posts. To see the posts, open the map by clipping the, clicking the map button. Okay, send the general by selecting a Rodovian post and clicking on the magnifying glass. Exploring locations may result in gain of resources. In this case, we need to dispatch of the Rodovian post. You can send any agent to explore any location. Okay, so there's an east post, a north post, and a west post. Okay. So this is my kingdom. Well, let's go east. Yes. Go, general. Go, Stan! We will be ready for the wedding in four weeks, Your Grace. The Rodovian posts need to be eliminated by then. And we still need to provide for the people's needs. Striking the right balance between the two might be tough, if not impossible. Nah, I've already got the fabrics, bro. With our current resources, we will need to prioritize. Yes, okay, peasant, hello. Your Grace, my son was found safe and sound. There are no words. Here's a little something. My wife has made a cake for you, a strawberry one, I think. Thank you, Your Grace. Oh, I got a strawberry pie. Yay! Hi. I come with a business proposition, Your Grace. I need 12 gold to hire men and buy resources. Yes, we, we had a talk about this. Mm, I will give you the gold. Take the gold and let the business grow. Oh, wonderful. You won't regret it, Your Grace. I will get right on with the work. Eight solid tables, 13 beds. We could make a cheaper shared chamber. Oh, it's going to work well. I hope so, because I need more money now. How can I help, Pumpkin? I'm worried about Lasulia, Father. What will happen to her when she leaves? She promised me she'd take care of me, but now she's leaving. Why would she lie? And what happens to Dusty? Your sister didn't know she'd have to leave, Sadani. As for Dusty, it's Lasulia's cat. She'll probably want to take Dusty to keep her company. But if she didn't leave, then Dusty wouldn't have to go as well. I don't want her to leave. Can you talk to her? It's not exactly Lasulia's choice. Lasulia. I'm sure she would prefer to stay. She would never leave you on purpose. Why does she do it then? If she would rather stay, she should. Can you talk to her, convince her to stay? Uh, of course, Sadani. I can try convincing her, but I don't think that will change a thing. I knew I could count on you. Thank you. I better check on Lasulia when there's time. Yeah. Your Grace, they took our cattle. Monsters were steel, came in the night and took everything. Sure, there's plenty of grass left now, but what's the good of it if there ain't cattle to graze on it? Can you help us, Your Grace? Um, yeah. That should replace your cattle and get you something to eat for a while. That's perfect. Thank you, Your Grace. Okay, I have a pie. What do I do with my pie? All right, go talk to my wife, I guess. Wife, hello. Darling, uh, how are the wedding preparations? I'm preparing some handmade decorations. I hope Lucilia likes them. I'm sure she will. They're lovely, my darling. The wedding is so soon and there's so much to do. I think we're going to have roast duck and a said Calasian salad? I don't know yet about the cake. I need to speak to Lasulia about it. I'll let you work on the preparations if you need anything. I'll be in the throne room. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And now I've got to go to talk to my daughter and see how she's going. Shh. Maybe Asaria will know where she is? Is she not here? She's not. Oh. 
I have a feeling my daughter's very, very mad with me. <laughs> Maybe because I'm forcing her to marry a person she's never met. Right after I told her I would never let her do that. Because, you know. Oh, crap. Why you got a sword? Yes, father? Swords, please tell me you haven't had a skirmish with Azulia. Pfft, she's far too soft for that. She wouldn't stand a chance. Let me be the judge of that. Show me what you've got. Really? You will fight with a girl? Let's go. I I don't really know how to... Since I can't go to the market, I had to find something else to do. I just picked them up. Don't let your opponent hit you and be quick. That's the basics. Am I holding it right? Ouch! Too slow. My turn. Hey, she's pretty good. You got quite an arm there, young lady. So tell me, Asalia, what is going on with you two? Still holding grudges? She's locked herself up in her chamber. What a baby. You did leave feces on her bed. Don't pretend like this is the reason she won't come out. Is this what will happen to me one day too? I don't want my little girls to leave home so soon, but the truth is, once you become of age, we will need to find you a husband. Sooner or later. Um, I guess I didn't think of it before. This puts everything into a different perspective. I was angry at her for being so irritating, but now I'm angry at her that she's leaving me. I I feel bad for her, but who will I vex now? Sedani's too young. It's not the same. So you're just like giving her shit for the sake of giving her shit? I'm sure you'll find a way to occupy your time. I guess we should end it here. I was just warming up. Do you think we could do this again one day? Sure. I will find you when I have a while. I suppose that'll be never then. We hardly do anything anymore. Talus would tell you otherwise, trust me. Father, I'm sorry. What I did to Lasulia wasn't fair. Don't apologize to me. I know. I feel like it's best to give her some time. I will make it right, though. I hope so. Don't do anything silly. Yes, you always do. Hi! You're a king. Oh, yeah. He's... The you said this to me already. Uh, where's my... No, that's the dungeon. Hey, bro. Hope you're having fun rotten in there. Is the king still here? I wonder if he's found anything. Hey, are those books of any use? Healing fever, how to prevent dysentery, something about malaria. All of these are useless. I'd like to know a little about your son before you know. The marriage. What's there to say? Ivo has royal blood and I pay enough for his masters to ensure that he's at least half as smart as I am. Can't you just leave me alone, Eric? I'm trying to focus here. I haven't seen Paloma in years. Does the illness persist? Why are you so curious about her? Yes, she's still sick. Otherwise, I wouldn't even be here. But like I told you already, it's none of your business. Did Yelis and Barav Baravia resolve their wars yet? What were they fighting about again? Land witchcraft? I don't know and I don't care to find out. I have my own problems. Is everything all right in Hagos? I've always wanted to visit your beautiful town. Why don't you? Go and see for yourself what it's like. Better than this rat hole. Okay. I'll be in the throne room. Dude, I hate him. He is an asshole. I'm going to be in my throne room and he can piss off. <laughs> okay. Um. So we need to... Buy myself flowers. Um, we'll get the flowers. Okay. There's still time until the wedding. We should check out the Rodovian post when there's a chance, Your Grace. I was planning on doing that first. Well, let's talk to the general, actually, because here he is. No sign of the Rodovians at the east post, Your Grace. There was nothing left behind. Okay. Well, can I send you to the north post? Hello, Pietro. Your Grace, I think I know that they are after me. Who are you talking about? Yesterday, when I went to bed, someone was in my room. They moved the candles. They left them on the windowsill. I never leave my candles on the windowsill. Your Grace. This craziness. Okay. Hello, wife. Have you seen the Sulia, darling? I think she's still locked up in her chamber. She's refusing to come out. I think it's best to give her some time. I don't know what to do, darling. The wedding is so close. I wanted her to help me pick the flowers, but she won't talk to me. I suppose you're right, though. I will get back to the preparations. Of course, my sweetest. This isn't going well. Your Grace, yet another village has been raided by Rodovian forces. Should we aid them in their time of need? 
This could have great effect on our people's contentment, Your Grace. We can't allow Rodovian to threaten our land. Oh, we can't allow Rodovia to threaten our land. Ah, I just sent the general. We need to prepare for the final blow. Let's hope that the Rodovians don't strike again. I'm sorry. I only have one general. What do you have there, merchant? Your Grace, I bring you a mixture that can cure illness. Works most of the time. Cures almost anything. You won't find anything better for five pieces of gold. Hmm. No thanks. Pass on such a fine product? But how can you know for sure that you won't need it soon? Oh well. I will peddle it elsewhere. I should have taken it. Should have taken it. I really, yeah, yeah. She convinced me to have plants here. I think it does help. I think they're lovely. Wife. I'm well. I think I might actually sleep tonight. Hang on. Yeah, okay. The big day is in three weeks. I can't believe how fast the time flies. Lasulia doesn't really want to get involved with the wedding preparation, so everything's on my head. She'd be less upset if she understood that this is the best option we have. Do you think we should tell her about the promise? No, Eric. How do you think she would react? She would hate us forever for promising her before she was even born. She can never find out about this. Okay. She will never find out about it, I guess. Let's just advance the week again and see what we can do. Um, we can- we have enough to hire a band now, so... We got everything we need for the wedding. Yeah. Alright, General, what have you got? The North Post was crawling with Rodovian scum, Your Grace. We have managed to dispatch most of them. Awesome. And we'll do the West Post. Actually, let's wait. We'll do that at the end. That's a smarter idea. Hi, peasant. Your Grace, thanks to the new inn we've built, our workers are happier and... Your Grace, thanks to the new inn we've built, our workers are happier and work harder. We can now plow much faster. We still need to maintain the inn, but I wanted to bring you something extra for the help. We'll be contributing a gold every week to the kingdom. Thank you very much. Our people will appreciate this. Please visit us if you ever need any more help. Thank you, my... Thank you, Your Grace. Wow. Awesome. Amazing. All right. Cool. This is the merchant. Your Grace, the tavern you helped me to establish is up and running. It's doing so well that it is not just a stop between long trips. It's more a destination on its own now. As promised, I will now start sharing my profits with you. A whole, a whole one gold every week. That sounds fair, right? This is ridiculously low. I think this will be fair for both parties. Hmm, I guess you're right, Your Grace. Three pieces of gold it is then. Eh, it was worth a shot. I am nothing if not a haggler. <laughs> my daughter, what are you hiding there, pumpkin? You said I can't have a cat, so I got myself a different pet. I never said you can't have a cat, just not Lasulia's one. It's a snail. I found him in the gardens and I call him Smudge. That's an unusual pet and an original name. He's nice, but he's not a cat. He's all slimy and sticky. Kind of gross. That's the best replacement I've found so far. Maybe if Lasulia didn't have to leave, she could help me find something better. Once your sister gets married, she will have to go with Ivo. She has to support him. She can't stay with you forever, you know. So there's no way? No way. I think you would love it in the council chamber, Father. When can I go back there? You mean the snail? What was it, Sneary? It's Smudge! It's not that hard, Father. He smudges, that's why. Yes, yes, Smudge. I'm afraid you won't be able to go to the council chamber for a while, though. King Talus is staying there until the wedding ceremony. Oh, she's not going to like me very much either. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, we've got a peasant here. Your Grace, I have a small favor to ask of you. He's drunk. Teeny tiny. Would you happen to have any spare gold? You see, one piece of gold is all I asked for. That way I could get myself some booze. I know this is rather unusual, but it would greatly appreciate the help. Don't waste my time. I didn't mean to, Your Grace. Let me just disappear. Why is there feathers? Hello. Your Grace, my village has been raided by bandits. Let me guess, there's a monster on their banners? No, not at all. Locals for sure, but they were armed. Our food supplies and cattle were stolen. We would greatly appreciate your support. We'll send the general. Your Grace, I've been robbed. I was on my way down to Hargos when a bunch of thugs threatened my life. If I did not give them all my goods. Now I'm left with nothing and nowhere to go. Is there a chance I could count on your support? You've lost your things? Is this why you came here? Your Grace, we can't compensate everyone who loses their belongings. 
You always hear about these things, but you don't actually believe it could happen to you. Obvious risk. Bah, perhaps you should make the roads safer. Sounds like Rodovia has copycats of sorts. Other bandits can now get away with their crimes more easily. They know the blame will fall on the Rodovians and hope we won't look for them. These things will settle down after the wedding, I'm sure, Your Grace. I hope so. Also, I've just sent my general and I kind of need my general. I'm not made to be a king. <laughs> At all. Why do I have to keep coming here to talk to my wife? Can I give you a pie? Has Lucilia spoken to you at all? She hasn't. I'm very worried about her. She hasn't eaten anything for the past few days. I hope she'll forgive us for this one day. Probably won't, but sure. Okay. Let's just leave it for this week. We'll get some money stored up. Oh. This is the final week before the big night. Yeah. It's our last chance to do the... Uh, to do. I thought I had an extra week. Ah! It's our last chance to deal with the Rodovian posts. Oh, yes. The queen wanted to see you, Your Grace. Your Grace, I'm starting to think that perhaps you are involved. What am I saying? Why would I say this? Why would you tell someone you know that they know? I better leave. I can leave, right? Do I give him the pie? I should have taken the freaking health staff so I could have cured him. Father, Lasulia, you finally came out. Can you please come and meet me at the wall when you get a chance? I wanted to talk to you. Of course, I will see you there. Your Grace, I came here to ask you for your help. My father is very sick with fever. Help me, please. He is pale as a ghost and he shakes and sweats all the time. We have, tried treating the fever, fe we have tried treating the fever with cold water and a poultice of butter, onion, and garlic. We have given him a concoction of wormwood and mint. Egads, we even tried letting the bad blood with be leeches. I'm afraid he might not last another night. Your Grace, if we had a court witch available, she could handle these diseases. That's true. You should put word out that we are looking for one. As for your father, it should be enough for you to buy medicine or to pay a healer. Amir, Amir can heal him. He's expensive, but this will be enough. Thank you, Your Grace. All right. So I gotta go see my daughter. I've got a lot of things to do. All right. Well, let's go see. Uh, Sadani, maybe. Yes. I just have one question I must ask Your Grace. Yes. May Smudge come to the wedding too? Well, I guess. But you need to keep him very close to you, Sadani. I always keep him close, Your Grace. Fine, he can come. Don't forget to say goodbye to Lasulia. She's leaving right after the wedding. Yes, I also need to say goodbye to Dusty. It's gonna be all right, Pumpkin. Asalia? Yes, Father. It looks like it's gonna be quite a banquet. Yeah, for you it will, not for Lasulia. I still can't believe she's leaving. Hopefully she can learn to be friends with Prince Ivo. I don't think she wants to. I know, I wish we had more time to find a prince, but this is the way it has to be. Stay safe, my darlings. Let's go talk to the wife. Oh. Ooh. Everything is ready, apart from one last thing. Choosing a dress. I'll let you do the honors. Oh, the middle one's really nice. This is a middle ground gown. Nothing special, but for 25 pieces of gold, we can't expect too much. So what do you think? The puffy one, yes? I think this gown actually looks quite nice. What? Oh, yes, it's not too bad, I suppose. I had to buy it. Oh God, I didn't realize I have one gold. Shit. <sighs> King Talus, hi. We've booked a florist. I bought throne decorations. We'll have a live band. There was no need. I just want it to be over and done with. Who cares about some stupid decorations? It's the vows that are important. I hate weddings. People forget what they're really about. Oh, well, it's going to be quite a party either way. I'll see you there. Yes, very well. I f am feeling worse and worse for giving him my daughter. And I don't mean him specifically, like, but she's going to have to live in their castle and it's just... Oh, I'm so sorry, Lasulia. It's okay, I'll replay this again and make different choices, I'm sure. You wanted to see me? I'm sorry I shouted at you, father. I didn't mean it when I called you stupid. I just wish things were different. 
I just wish I'd spent the past couple of days being with you, not angry at you. I know, darling, I know. I love you, Father. I love you more than anything in this world, Luli. Oh, I know. Oh, you hate it when I call you that, but you're still my Luli. It's all right, Papa. I'll miss you calling me Luli. Your mother has prepared one hell of a wedding. Yes, I better get ready before she finds me. I'll see you at the party. Damn it, she's nice, and I've given her away. And I can't get rid of the freaking post because I don't have a general. Because I'm an idiot. Well, let's see what happens, shall we? All right, well, we got some gold back, so that's good. The kings of Devern and Atana make an alliance treaty to join forces against Rodovia. Ekim. I'm overwhelmed by the beauty of my um, new wife here. I'll enjoy the company, I'm sure. And, um... Ah, damn it. Can someone help the young prince? It's just nervousness, that's all. Oh, no need, no need, I'm up. Um, like I said, company, my wife, yes. Um, here's to that. Forgive me, I, um, father said I should make some kind of speech. I wasn't sure what to say. I hope I didn't offend you. Anyway, you look very pretty, Lasulia. Oh. I wouldn't let you marry someone inappropriate. You know that, right, Lasulia? A bit clumsy to be sure, but he will grow out of that. Mm-hmm. I hope they like each other. Your Grace! Men from Adovia! You didn't manage to clear their posts? I hope this is nothing serious. A nearby village was raided. They've kidnapped the blacksmith's children. I'll have my general check this out as soon as I have time. Yes, Your Grace. I will be on my way if you'll excuse me. Talus. About the Rodovians. This seals the deal, Eric. You get the army, I get full access to the archives. I wasn't sure if you would honor our bargain, Eric. Why would you think that? You're a family man, aren't you? I didn't think you would want to let your daughter leave the nest just yet. Believe me, the other option didn't seem any better. And the party went on. Everyone's busy eating fancy food, drinking the finest wine. The band was first class, too. I looked for him everywhere. I've stirred up every pot, even in the kitchen. Don't worry, we'll find him, Sadani. This salad looks surprisingly flavorsome. No! What is it? A Kaladi's recipe? Hmm, the dress is not half bad. Didn't know they had such sublime taste. These snails are extremely undercooked. Tf. What snails? That's not part of the menu. Smudge! <laughs> oh no! The party went better than anyone expected. A snail! Listen, I think I've wasted... <clears throat> I've spent enough time with the guests. I really need to get back to the archive, so if you don't mind, I will take my leave, Eric. Tell us, <laughs> your grace. Leaving so early? Toast, toast, drink at least one more with us. See, perfect timing, your grace. Uh, will I get some peace after that? To the young couple. <gasps> Until the ill-fated toast, that is. Eric, do something. Send for the doctor. Well, don't just stand there, idiots. You heard the king. Go, go, go. I should have bought the fucking heel thing. He is not, is he? Father? Your grace. Father. I, I, how could you? Eric, how could you ever allow for this to happen? Eric, you've accommodated us in your castle, which we are grateful for, but this? This is beyond our beliefs. You have failed as a host and are responsible for the events of tonight. The king of Atana, Talos, is dead. Ivo, your Talos is only son. You have no choice but to take the burden of the crown upon yourself. Go ahead, Ivo. Eric, I can't believe this. You leave me no choice. As the new king of Atana, my first order is to withhold the armies that my father promised to you and I will not be paying for your agents. Eric, the King of Devern, you are responsible for Talos' death unless otherwise can be proven upon a royal trial. Until then, Devern will not receive support from Atana. What? Lasulia, pack your things. We're taking my father home. Wait, no, you can't do that. Your grace, the wedding is over. 
The vows were said, the marriage still stands. Have courage, my darling. What the f Your kingdom has agents available for hire. They'll be listed here. To make an agent available in the next week, you will need to pay them. To hire an agent, click on a button with their name. You'll see the cost added to the summary. I have Stan, the fucking general man. Um, okay. That was insanity. Uh... <laughs> Well, we made it to week nine. I'm wondering if I had bought that freaking medicine that heals almost anything, if it could have saved him. Mm. Well, the good thing about this is that I can go and try again. But that was Yes, Your Grace. A quick look into what this game is about. I, for one, actually find it quite interesting. I want to double check if it's the same people that made Not Tonight because it's so familiar. I, it's very Not Tonight-y. Like, it's a similar art style. Oh, it's the same publisher. Okay. Yeah. So, interesting. Well, anyway, that was Yes, Your Grace. I almost said that was not tonight. That was Yes, Your Grace. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a comment and a like. Yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.